What's going on guys, Triple M here again, and today we're taking a look at NordVPN. Now if you guys have been subscribed to my channel, you know that VPN comes in handy in a lot of situations, especially in the streaming community. Uh, I have done previous reviews on other VPN services, and uh, my entire goal is to give you guys options, that way you can make an informed decision. So today we're taking a look at NordVPN, and before I get into the actual service, uh, what is VPN? What does it do? How does it help? So um, let me answer that very quickly and hopefully I can summarize it for you. So VPN is basically a way of encrypting your data. That way your ISP can't see who you're talking to or no one else for, for the matter can't see who you're talking to. And in the streaming community, the three main reasons why you use VPN is one, to remain anonymous. Internet service providers have been known to throttle your connection, your speed, when they see the content that you're looking at. So if they see that you're doing a lot of streaming or you're using a certain amount of data, they can actually slow you down and that kind of directly conflicts with what service they're providing. So basically it's a way to stiff out the competitors. <laughs> Another reason is geolock content and what that is is uh, certain content is restricted to certain countries. So let's say there's a show that only airs in the UK that I wanted to watch from the US. What I can do is connect to a VPN. I can then choose the country and I can choose the UK and I can spoof my IP address to make it look like I'm in that country so that way I can connect there and their service won't tell the difference if I'm there or if I'm halfway across the world and the third reason is torrenting a lot of people a lot of people in the streaming community they download content torrenting p2p and that's the fastest way to get in trouble especially here in the US so if you're doing a lot of downloading definitely get a VPN connection guys so in this video I'm gonna do a quick run through of the features I'm also gonna check out the apps the pricing and I will be doing a speed test a little bit later just so you guys can see how much speed you're losing on this VPN <laughs> So first things first, Nord provides over 1,700 servers in 61 different countries. And there's a quick map of um, just a, a basic layout of what countries these servers are available in. And let me scroll down some more. And you can just see how many servers they have. So from here, you can actually show the servers. I'm not going to get into that. But here's a double VPN, which actually encrypts your data twice. So it does have double VPN servers in these countries. So it has two in the US, two in Canada, and other areas. Here's the Onion VPN. So this is Onion over VPN. Here are the three locations. Here's the Anti-DDoS VPNs. So they have uh, quite a few of them, three in the US and Germany, Italy, and Canada as well. Dedicated IP. Here's the standard servers, and this is where most of the servers will be, guys. So let me just scroll down. You can see all the different countries that they're in. But if you go down to the US, you'll see that they have 677 VPN servers in the US. That's the standard VPN servers. Okay. They also have some P2P. Quite a few as well. Another 500 in the US. They also have obfuscated data, which is used to protect sensitive data, guys. So here's some of the pricing. So they have simple. That's $11.95 for one month. So you'll be billed every month. They also have a standard, which is a one-year plan. And it works out to be about $5 per month. And the total billed is $69, and that will be for a whole year. And then they have the two-year deal, which is the, the best um, value when you look at it. Because you get two years, $79, and it works out to be $3 a month. So I'll put a link in a couple coupon codes in the description. They do have a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you guys are not happy, you can just give them a call, and they'll refund your money, essentially. They do allow up to six simultaneous connections. And that means that you can have six devices connected at the same time on the same account. Payment methods, they do accept PayPal's credit cards as well as Bitcoin. So let's go over to the apps and see what they have available. Right now it automatically detected my system. So you can just go ahead and download it directly from here. But if you scroll down, here are the available applications. So it, it is available for iOS and this is your iPhone and iPad. You do have it for Android, Windows, you have Mac OS. They have a Chrome extension and a Firefox extension. I haven't seen this on a lot of other services. Um, this is key because sometimes you only want to encrypt certain things that's um, that you're viewing on a, on a browser. 
wink wink and that's a, that's a good way to go about doing that I just wanted to show you guys the ins and outs of the application and I also want to do a speed test just to see how much speed I'm losing with VPN on uh, one note on that is that guys no matter what VPN service you get you will lose some speed that's the that's the price of encryption so um, if someone tells you that the VPN service is out there that you don't lose speed they're lying to you alright so I am in the application right now all they have to do is sign in with your email and password after you sign up and this is the main interface right Right here so it does have a map right here and it kind of shows the different countries that you do have VPN servers in so from here you can connect you have maps you have countries you have settings and let me go through some of these options so we're on maps right here and you can't just pick a server in the, in the US or wherever country you like you can go to countries and here are the different countries guys and from here you can connect to a specific country or if you want to see a list of the VPN servers within that country just hit this menu button and it shows you that that country has one so let's exit out of here let's go down to the US I hit the same menu and here are all the different servers within the US okay so from here if I wanted to connect to one all I have to do is click connect and it will connect uh, you can also save it to your favorite by just hitting that and that makes it easy to access in the future the next menu is my favorites I have one to my favorites right now and this is the one that provided me the most speed and I will be demonstrating that a little bit later you also have the options to group by the best service for you alphabetical order last loaded and closest to you so sometimes it's all about playing with the settings see which VPN server works for you then you want to add that one to your favorites here are the specialty servers and these are the additional features that were listed on the website so they have a anti DDoS server um, kind of protects you from being um, taken offline connected to a dedicated IP server they have the double VPN servers and this essentially double encrypts your data they have the onion over VPN so if you guys have that feature on your router already or on your service you can go ahead and specify that server and they also have the P2P next let's go to settings the bottom menu is my account information I'm not going to go into it you have cybersec and this adds and protects security from malware phishing and other threats so you can turn that on or off you have the automatic updates where you can check where the actual application will check for updates auto connect you can set it up that every time you open the application it will just connect automatically you also have the option to start on startup so basically whenever you boot your computer the VPN will load and that way you can always be connected so if you have both of these options checked and you reboot your computer and log in it will automatically start up and it will automatically connect you also have a kill switch and this is very interesting and I think this is a, a nice feature as well and what this does is essentially you can pick certain applications that you only want to use with VPN so for instance if you have BitTorrent or something like that that just that you know that you need a VPN for and you don't want to risk getting in trouble you can just add that to this list right here and what will happen is whenever a VPN connection is lost that application will automatically be shut down you have notifications you start minimize or maximize up to you you also have your system of measurement this is for the map area you have a metric or imperial you also have an option where you can show advanced settings just click on that and scroll down so it gives you more advanced settings guys so you can um, go to your server list you can turn it on or off map is enabled uh, you can choose your protocol TCP or UDP custom DNS obfuscating servers and this is what we spoke about a little bit earlier you also um, have a diagnostic tool right there so that's basically the main menus right now shows that I'm not connected let me switch to the browser to just show you my current IP address I will block it out obviously we well, can see it right there and also before I connect I wanted to do a speed test so let's go to speedtest.net and let me just begin the test I should be getting 70 download about 6 upload So there's a download 70.41. And there's my upload, a little bit over six. 
So that's where I should be. And that's what my subscription provides. So let's go back to the VPN. And what I'm going to do is connect to the US server, the one that I added to my favorites. And we just give it a second for it to load. So right now it says connecting. And you can see you're connected to the US server. And right now it's trying to find me an IP address. So we'll just give it another second. All right, so there it is. Here's my new IP address. And let's go back to the browser. And let me just refresh this page. And you can see my IP change. And that's key, guys. What I'm going to do now is do another speed test. So we'll test again. And like I said before, guys, VPN will slow you down a little bit, but this by far is the, the fastest I've ever seen a VPN connection stay close to what you're supposed to be getting. I'm only losing two um, megabits per second, guys. Two megabits per second. So I'm still getting 67 and I got a 70 before. So that's big. So if you guys are doing a lot of streaming, this is key because this keeps your speed fast. You can see my upload didn't change much either. So let me just go to my results and we just compare them side by side. So here are the two that I did a couple minutes ago. So this is my original IP address. Here's my upload. Here's my download. And this is the one that I just ran. I got 67 and I got 5.93. So the ping was a little bit more, but that's expected. Like I said before, VPN will slow you down. Some of them slow you down a lot. This one only lost two megabits that's crazy so that's it for this video guys just a quick introduction to nordvpn so far i'm very impressed the speeds are very fast a lot of different options to choose a server a lot of options for a secure vpn or advanced settings that you can play with but um, so far i'm liking this so uh, like i said before i'll leave a link in the description if you guys are looking for a promo code if you guys are in the market for vpn i do plan to do a couple more videos maybe comparing two services that way you can make a better informed decision but you guys just leave a comment in the comment section below let me know what you think don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video.